Still coming? All right, we'll wait on you if you need to come. We'll wait on you. Anyone else needs to come around, we'll wait on you. We don't want you to lose your blessings. God has been so good to us. All right, Sister Furman, let's receive her with a praise the Lord. And she comes with, with her offerings. She comes with our announcements. Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you, praise the Lord, for everyone being here this morning. <clears throat> On behalf of Elder Terry Furman and myself, we want to thank the pastor, first lady, the ministerial staff, church family, and our family for making the ordination celebration such a great event. May God bless each and every one of you all. The evening service will begin today at 5 p.m. Starting now since uh, daylight savings time, the started the evening service will start at 5 p.m. instead of 4. Amen. Tuesday, March the 14th, the pastor will meet with the deacons and deaconess at 5:30. Also on, the, on Tuesday, the first lady wants each adult to bring two bags of name brand candy and two bags of plastic eggs for Easter. Give to first lady. We have a for the kids that come to church here and everything, we have an Easter egg hunt. So that's what that's for. Saturday, Tuesday, Tuesday, March the 14th through Saturday, March the 18th, is the council in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, someone asked me about our dues and everything. We haven't got anything yet. But if we get something, uh, I'll let you all know what we have to see. We thank and praise the Lord for Krista Sinners being here. And Shannon Davis. Saturday, March the 18th, the fellowship with the First Lady and Sisters, amen, at Chatters in Denver, Kentucky. We're going to meet here at 3 and we're going to leave at 3.30. Everyone is responsible for their own meal. First Lady said that if you are going to show off, don't go. If you show off, she's going to take you to the pastor. Make sure that you tip the waiter or waitress. Sunday, March the 19th, we will have a guest speaker for the, mor for, uh, for the morning service. Uh, Saturday, this is upcoming events right here, what I'm getting ready to say. Saturday, July the 22nd is the Women's Conference. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. If you all have never been to a Women's Conference, we ask you to just come and give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord blessed the Women's Conference last year. We had over 100 something women. And it was phenomenal. Yeah. We ask that you all come out and let us come, come out and be a, a blessing unto you. So, First Lady wants all the sisters to give her $10 for the speaker. And she's only asking us to bring water, tea, or soft drinks. And this is name brand. This is also another upcoming event. And we need everybody to, to be a part of this and everybody to help us. Lord willing and Terry on Friday, July the 28th, the church will be having a cattleman's fundraiser. Amen. We need eight to 10 people to help. We need volunteers. The time is from 10 to one. We would need donations of chips, drinks, and little Debbie's. You can go to Sam's and get the big boxes, got 50 in them or different amounts, so that every day that we get donated, it'd be less that we have to pay for. So, you know, we can get some support and help with that. We would really appreciate it. Just remember each and every one of these announcements and govern yourself accordingly. We ask everyone to stand at this time if we bring forth our honorable pastor, none other than Elder Michael Jerome Johnson Sr. Let's greet him with a praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You all may be seated. Reach over and shake somebody's hand. Tell them, good to see you. Come on, shake somebody. Good to see you. Reach over and shake somebody's hand. Shake their hand, I mean. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Once again, we want to take this time to acknowledge all our visitors. Uh, Sister Shannon Davis, we want to acknowledge you. This Centers, we want to acknowledge you, sweethearts. Thank you guys for coming out this morning. Doors is open to you at any time y'all want to uh, uh, want to worship with us. 
The doors is open. Feel free. Monday, I mean, Tuesdays at 7 is Young People Night, Friday, and then Sunday morning, uh, 11 30, and then Sunday evening at 5. So we're honored to uh, have Sister Crystal and Sister Shannon with us. Give them a hand, praise. Thank God for you, ladies. Thank God for you, ladies. Appreciate you all. So good to see Brother Ted back with us tonight in the house. So good to see him back. Miss you, man. Miss you. Miss you. And uh, I'm looking right at you, man, but I can't think of your name. Dominic. Dominic. Nikki. Good to see you back, man. Good to see you. We miss you, man. We miss you, man. Miss you, man. And I ain't going to say nothing about that lovely April back here. Good to see you. Good looking. Carlos, you got something beside you there, man. You got something beside you there, man. Y'all beautiful couple, man. Good to see you guys. Good to see every one of you here today. Good to see you. Nikki, uh, uh, Erica, the whole family, we, we praying for you guys. We forgot about Brother Joy, so don't you ever think that. Uh, that was my buddy, and uh, we not forgotten about him. And just know that he lives in you guys, and he lives in your babies, too, so. So we want to let you know that. Sister Bonnie, Sister Kathy, it's good to see you. The Wayne family. Yeah, good to see all of y'all back here. Uh-huh. Tell her they're going to get a switch and whoop your already back here. But you came on in the house on y'all. You know, back in the day, they just whooped it and talked to you after they beat you. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about back in the day. They get it. Shut your mouth up. Can't do that no more. Lord, they killed me back in them days. I had the wealth to prove it. You touch a child today, they call 911 on man. Bro, James can tell you this. Booney called 911. Y'all know Booney. I love him to death, but he's rocking. Booney called 911. Told that people, shut your mouth up. <laughs> man, that five minutes of police at my door. <laughs> Did somebody call? I said, man, listen. I say nobody nothing but one of my boys. The boy that called so many times. When I pick up the phone, all they say, Calvin Johnson, is this you? <laughs> I mean, he called down more and more. And then the police came to the house. Uh, I want to ask you a question, boy. He said, is that two guns you got on you? <laughs> He said, next time I'm going to get you, boom, just looked at him. Uh, this man, this rock. Call me out one more. Call the people, shut your mouth up. <laughs> Ask Brother Jay, he tell you. He don't hear y'all. Y'all keep him in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers. He's a bold little boy. Told the teacher at school. Lord help me. He was in the lunchroom with Gwen, your daughter Gwen. And one of the teachers said, Rick, they called him, you know, his name is Richard, I called him Booney. Said, Booney, uh, eat your lunch, it's good. Booney said, since it's so good, you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the world of trouble, y'all. Y'all help me. And we crack a smile when he told me. That's what I want to say, I got to look forward to it. He's got some scuff on in him. One dumb little boy hit him at school. Cause Boney hit him back. The teacher said, don't hit the little boy. Boney said, mama said they hit me, I'm gonna hit him back. <laughs> the teacher said, well, we don't really care what your mama said. Boney said, I don't care what you said either. <laughs> You see what I gotta deal with? You see what I gotta deal with? He said he didn't get what mama said, but since you don't get what mama said, I don't get what you said. <laughs> Man, he ain't number six for love. Y'all pray for the pastor. I done been up to the school already. Pray, pray, pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. Yeah, Boone said he didn't get it. Told me that hey, God's gonna get you. God's gonna get you because you <laughs> told me when I came to my 
Yahweh and say, say, since you've been home, ain't been number trouble. <laughs> Everybody say that. Say, since, since, since I've been back, ain't been in trouble in this house. Dad won't let me do nothing. He's telling me to stay in Africa, y'all. Told me God's going to get you. You being mean, God don't like ugliness. And I said, well, he's going to get you too, Gordon. No, he ain't going to bother me, Dad. That's what he thinks. All right, appreciate you all. Then we have a wonderful banquet for that was fun on yesterday. He showed up crying, didn't he? But you look good on that picture. That's an, that's an emotional moment. Yeah, I understand that. Crying is good. Some crying is good for you. But that other kind of crying, that ain't good for you. You know that crying that tears up the whole house? You don't need that kind of crying. They don't cry. Ella Porter told this guy on his job when he was working. By the way, I talked to Ella Porter. He's back home now. I'm doing wonderful. He called me this morning. First time I talked to him since I've been back in the States. But uh, he's doing well and he's going to, they're coming in and doing rehab. But he's up in Newport. I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to slow him down. That hip don't mean nothing to him. But uh, Porter said he came into the boss's house, the boss on the job, into the office. He was crying. And the boss turned around and said, Where well, Porter? I cried too. <laughs> so some people ain't gonna give you no sympathy. <laughs> they just gonna tell you. All right, in the book of Ephesians, I'm not gonna hold you long. Service at five, get you enough time to eat. Come on back, and take a little nap. Be like Leo, take your shoes off, rest your feet. <laughs> I know how he does. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> he would come in when he used to come and see me. Oh, what is this? He said, "Yeah, I'm to see you for a minute." I said, "Yeah, come on up, talk to him." Well, he come in, untie his shoe, <laughs> take one of his shoes off, take his socks off, stretch his toes. I knew it was a, I knew it was a set down. That, that, that's an hour right there. Dorothy would get in the hallway and say, tell him it's time to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's back in the day. All right, in the book of Ephesians, sixth chapter, verse 10 through 16, this is what God spoke to my heart. In the book of Ephesians, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your lawns girded about with truth, having on the bre breastplate of righteousness, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you should be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. You may be seated. I want to use a thought this morning. Tell somebody, I'm fully dressed. I'm fully dressed. I'm fully dressed. Precious people of God, the great apostle Paul is writing the letters to the Ephesian church. The Ephesian church that Paul is ministering to now is in a warfare. Conflict is going on. And Paul now is addressing the conflict that is going on. How many know that we can't fight our battles like we used to fight our battles? The next door neighbor, you can't pull out your shotgun now. You can't pull out your pistol now. You can't go in and get your blade out now. 
Because the war that's going on now is not a physical war. It is a spiritual war. Paul now is telling the saints how to fight the devil. You can't fight the devil with a baseball bat. Mind me years ago of a man that, that, that was living in the projects and made a statement to me. Of course, I know he was lying, but he made a statement and said that my daddy, he said that his daddy ran the devil through the graveyard with a 45. And I said to myself, you ain't ran no devil through no graveyard with a 45 because he's he not stuck your 45. See, see, that's a lie. That's what people want you to believe. You can't fight the devil with a sawed off shotgun. You gotta fight him with spiritual warfare. So Paul is saying to the church, we're in a battle, we're in a fight. And this fight that we're in, it, you cannot use carnal weapons. You can't cuss nobody out and beat the devil. You can't beat the devil out of people. The devil is who he is. But Paul is saying to us how to fight the devil. He said, now finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He says to put on the whole armor of God. What does it mean by the whole armor? Well, in the army, in the army, when I was in all TC, in high school, when I was a, a, a second lieutenant uh, uh, in high school, I had two disc on my shoulders. Uh, and then, then I left there and went to the Marines uh, in Louisville, which I had a captain's rank, uh, getting ready to move to a captain's rank. Uh, now, in the Army, they issue you fatigues. They issue you your military gear in order for you to be properly dressed uh, for the ROTC. Uh, what God is, uh, has given us uh, our proper clothing, uh, what to put on in order to fight the devil. Uh, see, you can't fight the devil uh, with your own mind. Uh, you can't fight the devil with your fist. Uh, there's a way to beat the devil, uh, and there's a way not to beat the devil. Uh, it goes on saying, put on the whole armor of God uh, that you might be able to stand uh, against the wiles of the devil. Uh, then it goes on to tell you and I, uh, we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Uh, or against a man or against a woman. Uh, you are wrestling against principalities. Uh, what are these principalities? These principalities are, are fallen angels. Uh, they are angels uh, who have rebelled against God uh, with Lucifer, the devil. Uh, demon spirits uh, who gets in people, uh, who gets in people uh, and use people people uh, to come up against you. Uh, he, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Uh, principality, uh, spiritual wickedness uh, in high places. Uh, then it says to us, uh, work for, uh, take unto you uh, the whole armor of God. Uh, what sense would it use this morning uh, for me to get dressed? Uh, I put my pants on, uh, but I don't put my shirt on. Uh, so I'm not properly dressed. Uh, what do what it do uh, for me to put my shirt on, my pants on, uh, but walk around here with no shoes on. Uh, I'm not properly dressed. Uh, so he's saying, uh, put on the whole armor of God uh, that you might be able uh, to fight against the devil, uh, that you might be able to endure the temptations, uh, the snares, and the pitfalls uh, that people set for you uh, to see. Some people want to see you fall. Uh, some people want to see you uh, make mistakes in life. Uh, they don't want you to grow up. Uh, they don't want you to become good or who you want to be. Uh, so Paul is saying, uh, put on uh, the whole armor of God. Uh, now what is uh, the armor of God? Uh, you can't see the armor of God, uh, but you got to get dressed uh, with the whole armor of God. Uh, now what is the armor of God? The armor of God uh, is your protection. Uh, the armor of God uh, is your security. Uh, that when the devil uh, try to fight you uh, or come up against you, uh, he won't beat you. Uh, he won't stop you. Uh, and he won't intimidate you. Uh, the first thing uh, that you need to put on uh, is the armor of God. Uh, is the helmet uh, of salvation. Uh, you know how you cover your head up when it's cold outside or you got a brim on uh, in the winter time. Uh, I mean the summer time. Put the helmet of salvation on. Why do you got the helmet of salvation on? It's to cover your mind. 
I don't know where that crap. Guy said my nickname is Injo. Injo, I don't know who that crap. I know how my name is Injo. Don't anybody tell me what my name is. I remember you. I don't know what to do. So what did you say? That was 40 some years ago. I ain't had no donors for 41 years. What did you say? Yeah, I ain't better than you. I don't want to be better than you. I ain't holding than you. I don't want to be holding you. All I'm saying, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. Can I get a witness? I'm getting too old to worry about what you think you're right. So put that shield up. Put it up. Sometimes you gotta put that shield up against the loved ones. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You think you should, I don't think I'm nothing. Who I got is better than what you got. Well, oh, I got Jesus. Put that shield up. And I'm gonna tell you something. You don't owe nobody no explanation when you try to do that. Come to here explain to me what's going on. I'm not explaining that to you. I'm a grown man. I'm not trying to make you happy. I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I'm going, I'm, I'll be 59 in June. I ain't got no time to play no games. I'm getting older by the day. Hair is almost great. Father now. I ain't worried about nothing. Gotta crawl in the car and crawl out. Years ago, I didn't stick my leg. I ain't doing all that. I didn't hurt like this. I fall in the car, man. <laughs> I was never bad enough with somebody that was reckless life when I was younger. You know how you was young and reckless life I lived? Jumping off these houses and buildings and stuff. That stuff catch up with you, honey. Oh, honey. Fingers out of place, aching. I'm like, what's wrong with my finger? I know what's wrong with it. Sometimes your fingers is the place it should be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, where that pain come from? That came from jumping over that fence. When you were 16 years old, that just hit me. Lord, it seemed like it's like, now I didn't know how to ride this. It's called payback. Hmm. That's all that is. That's all that is, payback. All that sneaking behind them houses I do now, and then that, no, no wonder the dogs is walking. <laughs> Yeah, that's all it is. How many know God forgives you? But you know you got to pay back stuff. You got to pay back. How many see yourself, see, see yourself sometimes in your kids? <laughs> Did I hit a nerve? <laughs> all that sassy mouth they got, where did they get it from? Y'all know y'all better have crazy. Ain't no problem with crazy. Huh? I know he is. I wasn't that bad, was not <laughs> <laughs> Dump used to say, I ain't never seen a child as bad as any child. I don't know how I would flip up and go out and die. <laughs> God pulled me just pulled me out of this attack. Man, I was, I was ready to run with Flip, Paul L. I was running with them, you know, them knockout people. <laughs> God snatched me out of there and saved me. What I'm saying is to say that man, you got the sword. The sword is the word of God. <clears throat> when somebody come up against you, say, what did the book say? If God be for me, who can be against me? What did the book say? God said he forgave me of my mistakes. Yes, I made a lot of mistakes. Made mistakes, made bad choices, does not make me a bad person. You understand that, don't you? God wants you to be clothed with the whole arm of God. Why? Because the devil is going to bring out some things. When I was in Kenya this time, I seen some things that would blow your mind. You got almost 5 million people in Kenya in one city. I'm downtown in the heart of the city. And I'm telling y'all, no home bars. No home. They're sleeping on the streets. Uh-uh. Men, women, broad daylight. Women letting you know they're available. Letting you know, straight up. They let you know. I ain't talking about no old women. I'm talking about nice little women. But you got to put on the arm. Right, right. You can't mess up what you got for something that really don't want you. I want y'all to hear me. If if they proper 
propositioning me. Who else has a proposition? You think about that. It's time to stop being spare tar and be the real tar. You understand the point? They got that donut in your, in your trunk because it's what it is, a donut. But the real tar is on your on car. All right. Remember that. Remember that. That's what the real tar What am I saying? The real tar is, is right there with you. Don't mess that up for nobody. Do you understand? I don't care who she is. I don't care who he is. You don't mess up the original for a duplicate. Can I get an amen? Get dressed with the whole of God. And when temptation comes, because it's going to come to all of us, married or unmarried, it will come. Now, because it comes, don't mean you brought it on. It don't mean you want it. It just comes. That's just the devil. He tempted Jesus. He's going to try to tempt you too. Amen. I, I had one tell me one time years ago, I'll treat you better than your wife. No, you can't. No, you can't. You ain't slept on the floor with me like she had. Come on, bitch. When I didn't have nothing, she was right there with me. Matter when she was 17, I was 19. Well, you, you ain't gonna do nothing for me. What you gonna do for me? I already got everything I need. So what you bring to the table? I got everything I need, so what you bring to the table? A man is a man, and a woman is a woman. When it's all said and done. So far, I'm gonna mess up this. For some of that really don't want it. This won't be for tonight. And then tell them you have to get through with it. I'm just gonna tell you, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gonna mess up a lifetime of faithfulness. Yeah. Somebody been loyal and dedicated and committed. Don't you do it? Yeah. And then they tell you, see that clown? They trying to put up something over your head. On them. Uh-huh. I don't tell them. We don't have to tell them. You just don't do it. Uh-huh. Just don't do it. As simple as that. And, and, and some of them, you get too old, play anyway. Right. You done played out. Shut that noise up. <laughs> your son, your, your brother has been scrapped for you. <laughs> Y'all know how you fought about it. <laughs> and then you try to put a new needle. You can't put a new needle in you. Your, your needle's old. Your needle grow old, old when you got old. They can't replace your needle. No, they don't sell them breakfast plants like that no more. So you can't get your needle. It's out of stock. You ain't got one needle, you better keep it. Yeah, waiting on these little girls. Waiting on these little boys. I ain't seen so many hot girls, old, 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 old women all my life. Every time I turn around. <laughs> I sat down at the doctor's office with your daughter. Mad at all business. She came out to see me. Oh, she crossed her legs. <laughs> you got to It's been in my neck. What you want me to do, Papa? I'll go in the wall, wall. Oh, just look at you. Oh, you just. She, you just, she said, you just. I told dog I'm saying I'm I'm just going to take a call. Next time I won't put my hand around my neck with some dip in my mouth. Oh, no, no, in my mouth twice. Let me fix your car, baby. I don't 
come up. Don't even stop to come. Don't even stop. Uh -uh. Uh, now that's why most times you see me, I hang out with my wife. That's my hangout buddy. She's my hangout buddy. You know what? She's my idol man. Because people will lie. She's mistaken about it. They will lie. So when you see me, you know, nine out of ten, you will see my wife. Why? Because I like hanging out with her. She's got my back and I got her back. I don't have to worry about nobody told no lies on me. I got the arm on me. I got the whole arm on. Um, I was over in Nairobi, Kenya. The little housemaids came in. Uh, we come to claim the room. I said, okay. I said, I need some tiles. So Bishop Lamb was across the hall from me. And so he opened up his door because they was knocking on his door. I said, man, I'm going to stay right in the middle where we can see each other. Oh, they came in there praying. <laughs> Had a tight britches on. I said, okay. Okay. I see where this is leading to. I just want you to know. I miss you. How you gonna miss just met me? How you gonna miss somebody you just met? <laughs>
Here's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm a pastor, but I'm a man. That's not you. You have to be real about this thing. What I'm trying to say, don't put yourself in harm's way. Can't do that. It's like walking into a dressing room of all women. What you doing in that? Maybe you didn't want to see nothing. <laughs> I didn't know nobody. Hey, you can just lie. That's it. The women only. <laughs> I tell you something, I did experience in college Carolina. I was in this country, I was somewhere, I can't remember what country it was. Across the country, they said gender. They say male or female. I'm in there using the stop. I remember walk right through the door. Came in the stop. And that's the that. Do you understand what I'm saying? This happened. Oh, yes. She didn't blink her eyes. She said, I came out. Wash my hands. Y'all to say this summer's coming. Put your arm on. And do not underestimate your opponent. All that's just little Fred. Don't you estimate Fred? Clean him up, put some teeth in his mouth, put his shoes up, put a head on his head, put some corn on him. Oh! Y'all know how they clean him up on good time. You clean him up. They clean up Ned, didn't they? Look good too, didn't they? Prayer lines open, come on. Neil, you come up here for the baby this morning. I'm going to get this prayer line going. I'm trying to help you this morning. I, 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 when you travel the world, you see some things. You ready to see the Holy Ghost? God wants to give it to you. Baptize my sister. God said you only have to fight in this battle. That struggle that you've been going through, you ready for God to help you with that? He's going to help you with it. He told me to tell you, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. You've been in your heart, you want to do what's right, but you've been tempted. You've been tempted. God's going to help you. God's going to help you. But, but here's what he want to do. Yeah. Listen, don't let them draw you in. Don't let them draw you in. When that urge comes, get on your knees. Get on your knees. God's going to help you. He's going to help you. Baptize him with the gift of the Holy Ghost. He wants you to receive the Holy Ghost so you can get settled in this thing and not be wishy-washy. Break up, tear down the strongholds that's hindering her from doing what she wants to do in her heart. He's going to move. Do a little faster. Because see, Satan is trying to launch a sneak attack against you. But I'm intercepting it right now. I'm intercepting that sneak attack right now. In the name of Jesus, call on Jesus. He's going to help you. In Jesus' name, it's done. Give it praise. Give it praise. Baptize my sister with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Give her the power to do your will. The power to live this life. We touch and agree that you receive the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Father, bless my brother. Strengthen him in the laws of his grandfather. Strengthen him. Fill him with the Holy Ghost while he's young. Use him while he's young. Jesus. Good to see you, sweetheart. Good to see you. Baptize my sister with the gift of the Holy Ghost so she can do in her heart what's right. Provide her every need. Remember her son. Remember Caleb. Remember Joseph. Ashley and that whole family. A home in them. Bless that family, God. Bless my sister in Jesus' name. God said he's going to show up for you. He's going to show up for you. Bless this child. Save this child. Be with this child. In Jesus' name. Take your wife by the hand. God wants y'all to be on one accord and be working together. Baptize my sister with the gift of the Holy Ghost. You don't have to fight. The devil is trying to come up against you. God's going to fight your battles. 
and he's going to give you the gift of the Holy Ghost that's upon you. He don't lie in the name of Jesus. Strengthen my brother. Strengthen him. Remember Matthew and Jeremiah. Remember the other Satan. Watch over them. God wants to give you a visitation. He wants to come to you. But you got to spend more time with him in prayer. More time in the Word. And in fasting. Touch his body. Touch his body, God. In the name of Jesus. Bless him right now. Jesus. It's done. Jesus. Father, bless my brother. Remember his daughters. Remember his grandbaby. Remember his mother. Bless him. Touch him in his body. Fill him with the Holy Ghost. Watch over him and provide for him. Bless those babies in Jesus' name. Watch over her. Shout hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah one time? Let it be done, God. Bless her in her body. Bless this young lady. Fill her with the Holy Ghost. Jesus.
strengthen my sister. Comfort her. Give her peace and give her comfort. In the name of Jesus. Remember George. Bless the whole family. Jesus. Hi, Erica. Father, bless my sister. Strengthen my sister. Fill her with the Holy Ghost. And work everything out in my life. Bless the children. Believe.
He said he's going to direct our path. And he said, if God be for you, who can be against you? Doesn't matter what these people say. What matters is what he said. Stay focused. Stay focused on what God has for you. Oh, Bashanda da Bakuya. Ila Bashanda da Bakaya. My God. And he wants you to do a little fasting. God wants to give you a visitation. He wants to come to you. Give her that visitation. He wants to show you there's something he wants to reveal to you. Reveal it to you. Shall renew their strength. You're gonna mount up with wings as an eagle. 